Hey everybody, this is Andy coming to you from Parts Online Network with a Tech Tip Tuesday on a Tuesday. I know, shocking, hard to believe. This is a video that has been asked for by a bunch of you. What we're doing is oil cooler lines, not the stock ones, the upgraded ones on a Dodge Ram SRT10. This is going to show you how to install our pre-assembled kit on the truck. Here's everything that you're going to need to complete the job. I only show two of the oil cooler fittings as of right now because the two that are that go into the block and the timing cover are already installed. Your upgraded oil cooler lines. To take the old lines off, you'll need a flathead screwdriver to pull the black cap off and then use the pick to pull the clip out and the line will come out of the fitting. It's a very large nut for the fitting. We're just using an adjustable wrench for that and uh, to install the new fittings. It is a one inch socket, I believe. Apparently I can't read. Yes, one inch socket. That's to install these fittings when you remove the OEM fittings. And then to tighten up the lines, I do have an adjustable AN wrench to tighten the fitting on the line to the fitting that goes into the cooler in the block. All right, first step, as you can see, we have the wheel off and the wheel well liner out. So the first step is to get someone else to do that because you don't feel like doing it. And you can do this part of the job from the top by removing the air box. This has an aftermarket K&N air box in it, but you can remove that and do it from the top. We have a lift, so we're going to use the lift and do it from the bottom. You're going to take this black cap here that covers the clip that holds the line in and pop those off. Then you're going to take your pick and pop the clip out. Well, if it wants to cooperate, you'll pop the clip out. Uh, and then you'll drop it on the ground and forget about it because you will not need it for reinstallation. Then the next step is really easy because once the clip is out, the lines just pull out. Now we're already disconnected at the engine. Like I had said earlier, those clips or those uh, fittings are already put in the block and the timing cover. And we do have a drain pan on the floor, surprisingly. Then the next step is we're going to remove these fittings here. Now that is a very large socket, but we're going to use an adjustable wrench because we're not recycling the fittings. Now, Nate did me a favor there. He already partially loosened these up for me. So, thanks, Nate. Big shout out to Nate. All right, the next step, you're going to install the new fittings. Now, you do want to oil the O-rings when you install them. Thankfully, we have this oil source right here that we can oil the O-ring before we install them. And that is done. So this is where you're going to use your one-inch socket then. If I can get these started, there we go. Now you're going to want to use a socket too, because if you use an open end wrench, I could almost guarantee that you are going to end up stripping the fitting. Not to mention, we definitely want it to look pretty. Since we're paying for parts that look pretty, we want them to look pretty when we're done installing them. All right, next step, we are installing the lines. They will come with a straight and a 45. Shout out to Chris Winter for the assist on this one. So the straights are going to go to the cooler itself. 
and then the 45s will go to the engine. And just so you know, when you get them, the 45 is adjustable. If it's not in the correct orientation you need it, it does swivel so you can adjust that as needed. Now, get, those, get that started on the straight there. Now, I know we did not show any of the installation at the engine. The main reason for that is it is extremely difficult to do any kind of filming in a tight space like that. That's why we wanted to do everything here. It's essentially the same thing. You're going to have the same fittings, same wrenches, everything. This is where the AN wrench comes in handy to tighten up the fitting. And I apologize. I'm at a a goofy angle here to try and stay out of the way of the filming so you can see what we're doing. So I'm struggling a bit, but it's literally just tighten the fitting on. It'll take a little bit because it is an adjustable wrench. So this is probably a time where we will cut just to a uh, time lapse. So we're not wasting your time. I just have to tighten up the lines that go to the engine, which like I said, I can't really show you very well because it's very hard to get a camera in there. So finish it up, put the wheel well liner in, put the wheel back on, check your oil level, top it off as necessary and get back on the road. Thanks for watching everyone and check back next Tuesday for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Have a good one.